He failed the written test to get into a machining program at a local college. Scrapped a huge amount of parts at an aerospace company within his first two weeks. And struggled in life to find his purpose. It's about to get What's up, everybody? It's story time. Ready for some inspiration? Oh, this is gonna be good, all right? So before I actually start, though, I just wanna invite you guys, if you love the videos, if you love the vlogs, the machining, the content, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and if you have any questions, put it in the comments below. All right, so now let me, let me show you something, all right? So it's Christmas time, and uh, check this out. Oh, check it out, check it out. CNC machine, you're like, what is it? It's a Christmas present that Alex Loper gave to me. It's not only a wallet, it's a non-mag wallet. It's got a space pen in here. It's got a place for my cards and the money. And when you close it, it just closes very nicely. I wasn't sure about a precision wallet like this, but I'm like, wait, I'm a machinist. Like, this is awesome. And my cards are getting bent in my other wallet. So yes, it makes perfect sense. I just put this guy, it slides right in my pocket and it is amazing. All right, so boom, wallet. Now, why am I showing you this wallet and making a big deal about it? First, I love the wallet, I love the workmanship and all that, okay? It's not something you see every day. Now, the second reason is because of Alex Loper and his unique story, which can be a story for many of you. And I thought, you know what? Let's actually talk about it real quick because not only is it gonna be inspiring, but there's some lessons to be learned in this trade, in business and in life. And one of the cool things that I'll say right from the beginning is that I know Alex. I've never met him, but I know him because I have longevity in online teaching, right? Been around for a while on here, and I've actually watched Alex grow in our academy over the years. Check this out. You guys might remember this. Alex actually machined this ornament and won $1,000 from Kenna Metal three years ago, back in 2017, when the Titans of CNC Academy Christmas ornament contest was going down. And that is when I first took notice of this amazing young man. Now check this out. Alex actually suffers from dyslexia. He went to college and tried to follow his brother through a machining program and couldn't get past the written exam. Went through crazy hard times for the next year. And then his dad, who he had only visited every other week while growing up. His dad actually called him and said, hey, we have an entry level position at our shop, all right? Now the dad worked at a machine shop that specialized in manual machining. And then a lot of the older machinists over time taught Alex the fundamentals of manual machining. While on that floor, Alex would look at this CNC machine sitting, turned off, and nobody was using it, all right? So, Lesson number one, there's a problem there because nobody on the floor actually knew how to use it. So they were making parts the way they always had made it. So Alex took it upon himself to actually learn the CNC, to actually set up parts, to learn how the fixture offsets work. He took it upon himself to solve a problem and then he gained opportunity through the company to actually machine parts. Therefore, the whole experience started changing his life. He fell in love with the CNC machine. He saw the automation. He saw everything happening. And eventually he decided to move away from the company. All right? As many of you guys know, I can relate to this story because I used to be a young machinist. I worked at a shop for four years and it really didn't matter how much money was offered to me. I just came to a place where I wanted to run bigger machines and work for a bigger company. I wanted to experience things on a huge level. So I'd end up leaving that company and going on this crazy journey, all right? If you don't know that journey and that incredible story, you should check out the vlogs 19, 20, and 21, and even some of the earlier vlogs where I actually discuss the entire journey and how we got here, all right? 
But now back to Alex. So Alex leaves this company. He gets a job at a big aerospace company. They got great machines. They got automation. They got everything that he needs. And he walks in, starts machining on a higher level. And then within two weeks, scraps 77 crazy precision parts. Now Alex freaking out basically had to spend the whole weekend not knowing if he was going to get fired, not knowing what was going to happen. As somebody that cares about his workmanship, he actually thought to himself, like, I deserve to be fired. He even called his dad to see if he could get his old job back. And then Monday came the moment of truth. And Alex walked into the office. His supervisor's name was Todd. And Todd had the talk with him. But instead of firing Alex, Todd called in an older gentleman who had a lot of experience in machining. His name was Mike Curry. He called Mike Curry into the office and he teamed Mike and Alex together. And Mike worked with Alex to fix the 77 parts that Alex thought was unfixable. And they worked through the process being able to ship those parts. And then over the next six months, because the company, because Todd, because Mike, because all of them saw something in Alex, they would go on to mentor him, not fire him, but mentor him and teach him what he needed to perform on a high level at that shop. Now that is experience. And what a crazy opportunity for Alex. So leaders out there, when you see young people that have talent, even if they make mistakes, understand that we all make mistakes. And through the trials and tribulations and overcoming and fixing our problems and fixing the mistakes, we learn how not to make those mistakes again. So when you have somebody who makes that mistake, take them to the side, gauge where they're at, and if they're motivated and they have passion, then put the time into mentor them so they can go on to do amazing things. So now how does the story end? The story actually doesn't end, it keeps going. After working for the aerospace company for three additional years and then going to Black & Decker and running multi-chuck, multi-spindle lays, Alex actually teamed up with his brother-in-law and they started Loper Machine. Boom, they put the work in, they learned the trade, they figured it out. They got longevity in it, which allowed them to see problems and, and meet customers and deal with engineers and learn new technologies, right? A lot of people want to get in it so quick, but it's important for us to put the work in first to make it happen every single day. So when we have our own shops, we can withstand the storms and solve the problems with a cool head. Now check this out. Alex and his team, they started off with 1,500 square feet. Now they've gone up to 6,000 square feet. They started off with a single machine. They actually went and bought the first CNC machine that Alex actually learned how to program on and brought it into their company. And not only that, but way back when Alex was working at the manual shop and the older machinist was teaching him the trade and the fundamentals, Alex actually hired one of those guys, brought him into the company and is teaching him how to be a CNC machinist utilizing the Titans of CNC Academy, our free academy. Crazy how the world works, right? Now, you wanna know something else that's crazy? Lesson number three, no matter what situation you're in, have the integrity, have the workmanship, and make everything about quality, precision, productivity, efficiency, and solving people's problems. Do the right thing always, even when people aren't looking. And trust me, doors in this trade will have a way of opening for you. Now remember the aerospace company in the middle of the story. Who was the supervisor? Todd, right? Todd was the one that came in and had the talk and then believed in Alex and asked Mike to come help. Now, years later, Todd would actually leave that aerospace company and go to an even bigger company. And it was Todd on the other side of the phone and Alex answered and Todd was like, hey, I heard you started your own shop. And Alex is like, yes, I did. And Todd's like, look, we have a huge amount of parts that we need to form out. Can you take them on? And Alex is like, absolutely. See that relationship right there? Alex always did the right thing. Todd being his supervisor had crazy faith 
in Alex. And now later, Todd, almost like an uncle or a father figure, actually looks at Alex and says, I'm gonna give you work. And not only give you work, but now you have a bigger company mentoring a smaller company that's solving problems and helping them along the way. And that is how this industry works. Boom, now I'm motivated. So please, have a great day. I hope you were inspired. And again, thank you Alex and team for making this amazing wallet. Oh, I almost forgot. What's at the top? Alex wrote in my favorite scripture, Philippians 4.13. I will leave it at that. Boom.